I'm an immunologist. I study how immune responses can protect the body against disease. Growing up, I absolutely did not want to be a scientist. I wanted to be an artist. I didn't think it would be so full of discovery and so unexpected. I actually started to become interested in how the immune system could protect us when I got glandular fever as a teenager. It was really intriguing to me to ask, why did I feel sick and, you know, why wasn't there a cure for this? So that's really what got me interested in learning what our body could do to combat infection. Traditional therapies for cancer involve chemotherapy or radiation, whereas we're now moving into an era of immunotherapy, and this involves harnessing a patient's own immune system to fight their own cancer. My aha moment came when we were comparing the ability of blood T cells versus tissue T cells to protect against infection. And I remember calling my mentor, Frank Carboni, and saying, we've done it, we've stopped the infection. So these tissue resident T cells we've identified, they're our body's first line of defense. And we found it's these T cells that do a lot of the heavy lifting and they can protect against infection and also against tumors. The great thing about this award for my work is that it really puts what we're doing in the spotlight. It makes our research really visible. It's great for me, my team, my mentors, and my collaborators. My hope for the future is that our research will have translated into better outcomes and better treatments for patients suffering from a range of diseases such as malaria, influenza, and cancer.